you are looking at three attractive wall clocks. On the sides are conventional mechanical clocks. One with a Roman numeral dial, the other with an Arabic dial. Clearly they're for telling time. In the center is a Warren Telecron Type B master clock. It is far from a conventional clock. It is apparent when looking at the dial, it's not just for telling time. The clock has just one hand and the dial is divided into 10 one minute sections. Minutes on each side of the zero are divided into seconds. This clock was used in power stations so operators could monitor the frequency of the alternating current being generated. Accurate frequency control made it possible to interconnect power stations forming the power grid we rely on today. If the position of the large hand is at zero, power is being generated at precisely 60 cycles per second. The clock has both a precision spring-driven mechanical clock movement and an alternating current electric clock movement. The interconnected clock movements can independently move the large center hand. The synchronous motor electric clock moves the hand clockwise. The mechanical clock moves the hand counterclockwise. If the alternating current is nominal, the hand will point to zero. The Telecron Type B master clock does the frequency monitoring by comparing the rates of the mechanical clock movement to the alternating current electric clock movement. The precision mechanical clock movement is used as a baseline. In 1918, Henry Warren received a patent for his self-starting synchronous electric motor that could be used to power a clock. He is recognized as the father of alternating current electric clocks. Initially, Warren's plug-in clocks, which later became known as telecron clocks, were not always accurate. The AC clock accuracy is dependent upon the correct uniform frequency of its AC power source. Ruin knew the accuracy problem was with the power stations not providing current at exactly 60 cycles per second. At that time, power companies had no way to precisely measure the frequency of their power being generated. His solution was to design and build a master clock that the power stations could use to monitor the output frequency. These are images of the brilliantly designed and meticulously constructed Type B master clock movement. The movement is essentially two interconnected clocks that are made to run in opposite directions. The precision spring-driven mechanical portion sets the pace and the electric movement is measured against it. Power system operators simply watch the clock hand and could then speed up or slow down the generators to get the frequency correct. The Type B master clock became available in 1920. At least a thousand of them were sold. They were sold at power stations for $150. Most power plants generated current at 60 cycles per second but master clocks were available for power stations that generated at different frequencies. Each Type B had an ID tag with a serial number and specified the voltage and the frequency. The one large hand compares the rate of the two clock movements. The small conventional clock dial and the five minute dial are used for precise regulation of the mechanical clock movement and also could be used to time intermittent power outages. The movement is calibrated daily to the Naval Observatory time. The hand vibration is from the escapement of the mechanical movement moving the hand counterclockwise while the hand is being moved back clockwise with a synchronous movement. If the AC power is being provided at exactly 60 cycles per second, the hand will be pointed at zero. If the cycles per second are too fast, the hand will move to the left of zero. 
If the power is being generated too slow, the hand will move to the right of zero. The master clock movement is fascinating to see in action. This video is running a little fast, but it makes it easier to appreciate how complex this movement is. The patent illustration shows all the gearing required to simultaneously drive one hand from two power sources in opposite directions. Here you can see the synchronous clock motor turning the large spur gear with connected planet gears. And looking at the dial, one can see that the pendulum is moving the large indicator hand counterclockwise, while at the same time driving the small clock hands clockwise. A lot of motion to all assure that the electric current being generated is at frequency of precisely 60 cycles per second. Okay, let's recap. Henry Warren invents this amazing electric clock that runs off of household 60 cycle alternating current electricity. He then finds out his clocks are not always accurate. He knows the problem is power not being supplied to the customer at precisely 60 cycles per second. So he invents a master clock that the power companies can use to make sure they are providing power at 60 cycles per second. Now with the power system stabilized, his alternating current clocks are accurate and the sales of his Telecron household clocks skyrockets. Henry Warren was not only a brilliant MIT educated electrical engineer, but also a very astute businessman. I am going to close with this beautiful video of the 9-11 Memorial that's done each year at Pepperdine University. Thank you for watching. If this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to be notified when I post a new video. Thanks again.